One of the biggest video game events of the year, arguably, has just gone down. Gamescom. And I really haven't had time to keep track of everything that has been announced. So, we're gonna go down the list together, I'm gonna react and let you know how I feel about all of this news. And it's my understanding that there was some pretty big stuff announced. Let's look at it and talk about it while I set up for this live stream tonight. Gamescom 2024 is finally here. If you're unfamiliar with Gamescom, Gamescom is a convention similar to E3, rest in peace, that takes place every year in Germany. And Jeff Knightley was hosting the opening night, okay? Jeff Knightley seems to host everything. I don't dislike Jeff, I think Jeff's a fine guy, but you know, if you guys are looking for somebody else to host one of your events. All right, I'm really excited to see what went down because I, I hear lots of scuttlebutt about some of the announcements. So, first off, here's something we've been waiting for for a while, but was obviously coming at some point. Borderlands 4 finally gets a reveal trailer. That's interesting, uh, coming off the back of the Borderlands movie, which... I personally have not seen yet, but I hear mixed things about. I have to admit the last Borderlands game I played all the way through was actually Borderlands 2, so I am not super up to date with what's going on with Borderlands, but it's been a while, so I could totally do a new Borderlands game. That sounds like fun. Count me in. And it looks like it's out next year. No platforms were revealed, but will likely be available for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. You don't say. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 gets new single player campaign details. No offense, but skip. I'll probably play the first hour. If it hooks me, I'll play the second hour. Because, you know, usually they're like not very long. But I am looking forward to streaming some of that new zombies. All right, up next we got... A Goat Simulator Remaster. Okay. Yeah, okay, sure. I've been hearing a lot about this trailer, actually. I hear the intro to this trailer is really fun. So let's check it out. Just the beginning. Is Goat Simulator or Arkham Asylum? Diablo? Ha 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 ha. Okay, funny. World of Warcraft. <laughs> Nice Skyrim reference, okay. This is pretty funny, I like this. It's a fun gag. Nice GTA gag. That, I'm assuming, <laughs> oh, T-Pose. This must be an Assassin's Creed gag. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Lots of parodies. This is fun. Okay, I don't need to watch the whole thing, I get it. That's funny, you should watch the Goat Simulator Remastered trailer. That's pretty funny. I'm a fan. Didn't play a ton of the first Goat Simulator, but uh, Crosby loves it, so he's gonna love this. What else do we got here? Techland reveals the next entry in the Dying Light series. Really? This one I find hard to believe. Techland is not fast at all. Zombie infested world of Dying Light announced today the third entry, currently in development. Okay, currently in development. Did they show a trailer? They did. Mmm, looks like Kyle is going to be returning as the uh, playable protagonist. That's cool. Kyle's from Dying Light 1. I never got to finish Dying Light 2, but I love Dying Light 1. And I love Techland. Um, man, Dead Island, some of my favorite games. Okay, so a new Dying Light game. They're moving faster. I bet this game doesn't come out for like two years. Um, Dragon Ball Sparking gets a new trailer. Oh, this is the next Dragon Ball game in the uh, Budokai Tenkachi. Is that how you say it? Uh, series. That's going to be released on October 11th. I don't play a lot of Dragon Ball games, but that's cool for Dragon Ball fans. King of Meat is a new co-op combat game where up to four players endure goofishly designed dungeons. I heard about this. Amazon Games. Maybe I'll come back and check out the trailer for that at some point. We got uh, Linked Banner of the Spark releases an early access in October. I'm not super familiar with this game, but if you are, it releases in early access, early October. Lost Records, Bloom and Rage reveals first gameplay trailer and release date. Some of the stuff that doesn't interest me, I'll just skip over. No offense to those folks that do, but you know, don't have the time to check everything out. No More Room in Hell 2 gets a new gameplay trailer. Okay, that's the uh, Torn Banner Studio. Um, it's a co-op zombie shooter sort of thing. Arc Raiders is out next year. Embark Studios, I think that's their free-to-play shooter. Arc Raiders, or is it ARC Raiders? I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be out next year. Infinity Nikki gets a new trailer. Sign up 
now for a live closed beta. What is this? I'm unfamiliar with this. New open world game. All right. Well, if that sounds interesting. Path of Exile 2. There's something I can get excited about. Uh, early access release is set for November. So if you're a Path of Exile 2 fan, that looks cool. I think that's uh, PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2 releases a new trailer. Again, uh, not, I don't have anything against it, but I've just never really got into the Warhammer games. So that's cool for Warhammer fans. Dune The Awakening gets its first gameplay trailer. Here's something crazy about me. Never seen the Dune movies, or the new Dune movies. I saw the old David Lynch Dune movie, which ironically I love, but I haven't seen the new Dune movies. For some reason, I don't know what it is. For some reason, they just kind of like, I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're good. But when I see them, I'm like, oh, there's that. Uh, so it looks like the game gets its first gameplay trailer. That's cool. Out for PC early next year. Reanimal is the next project from the creators of Little Nightmares. This interests me. Somebody in our live last night was talking about this. Um, I'm a big fan of Little Nightmares. Uh, I'm a big fan of that studio. I think their work is just like creepy as hell. Um, and I love it. I love it. So I will be checking this trailer out for sure. It's called Reanimal. Genshin Impact is coming to the Xbox on November 20th. It's kind of hard to believe that that game isn't on the Xbox already. Uh, Genshin Impact, out on Xbox, November 20th. All right, here's something I can really get into. One of my favorite game franchises. Uh, Capcom shows off a gorgeous new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. I am wildly excited for Monster Hunter Wilds. I cannot wait. It sucks that it's not until next year. Monster Hunter Wilds might not be out till next year, but Capcom wants you to maintain that level of excitement. Showing off a new trailer. I did actually watch this already, um, so I lied. I did see some of this stuff. The trailer's awesome. I'm really excited about Monster Hunter Wilds. If you are a Monster Hunter fan, hit that little thumb button or whatever's on here, heart button, I don't know. Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves is out on April 24th. A new SNK game, okay. So for SNK fans, we got a new Fatal Fury, that's cool. Interesting news, Monument Valley 3 is out this December as a Netflix exclusive. Even Netflix has its own announcement at Gamescom, that's cool. If you like Monument Valley, there's a third one coming. God, how much news was there? Mecha Breaks, latest gameplay trailer is all about gameplay. That's about mechs, I'm, you know, I never got into mechs, so. Uh, if, you, if you're into it, though, maybe check this out. Civ, Civ 7? We're at 7 already. Dang! First look at gameplay and a release date. February 11th, 2025 for PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Mac, and Linux. Gotta love those guys. They put their game out for everything. Uh, here's something I don't want to read because it makes me upset that I haven't played more of this game. Starfield is getting a vehicle, making planet exploration a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, I, I wish I would have played more Starfield. I played it for not even five hours, probably. And it's not because I didn't like it. It's just because, you know, I do this stuff, and it's hard to get into long-form games like this. I would be super excited about this if I were further into Starfield. But looks like it's getting um, Shattered Space Expansion, which is out September 30th. Damn. Okay, cool. That's coming soon. Here's something I'm also excited about. Marvel Rivals. Our nephews came down this summer and stayed for a week, and they were in the beta for Marvel Rivals, and I sat there and watched them, and I gotta tell you, I think I'm into Marvel Rivals. I definitely wanna check this game out. It's a 6v6 team-based, free-to-play shooter featuring all Marvel characters. Yeah, it's developed by NetEase. So um, I'm interested in that. That's out December 6th, so we got a little, little bit of a, a ways to go. Okay, here's something I also have seen. Uh, Amazon Prime Video announces Secret Level. Now check this out, guys. This is an original series uh, of short, little independent films uh, made by the same people who did Love, Death, and Robots. I don't know if you remember that series on Netflix. Super cool. They are doing basically the same thing for Prime Video, except all the shorts are gonna be video game themed. I think this is a really interesting idea. So um, it's an animated anthology series, provides original stories on various games, including new 
existing indie and classic games. Some episodes expected to appear will focus on games such as Mega Man, Armored Core, God of War. I did watch the trailer for this. If you have not seen the trailer for Secret Level, check it out. It looks really interesting. My only concern is this is all animated, so I feel like this is going to end up feeling like uh, just a, a collection of opening game cinematics, right? That's how it kind of looked to me when I watched it. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but um, you know, I'll be interested. I'll watch it. Secret Level premieres December 10th on Prime Video, so you should check that out. Towerborn Early Access. Towerborn arrives on Steam Early Access next month. Uh, this Towerborn is not a game that I have checked out, so I would feel amiss speaking on it at all. Might be very good. Age of Mythology Retold out next month. Available on Game Pass at release. So there you go. If you're looking for a new RTS game, the creators of uh, Age of Empires. Uh, yep, it'll be released on September 4th. It's very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 gets a gameplay teaser and it's still on track for a release next year. So if you're a fan of uh, War Horse Studios Kingdom Come series, then yeah, you should check this out. Looks like it's coming to every platform, except Nintendo. Here's some interesting news that I saw floating around. Upcoming Batman VR game gets new gameplay trailer, voice cast, and an October release window. It's a it's an Arkham game. It's a Batman Arkham game, but it's in VR, which we've already had for the PlayStation VR, which was a cool experience, but it wasn't anything that I would want to play through multiple times. So I don't know. It's coming exclusively to the MetaQuest 3 in October. It's called Batman Arkham Shadow. I'll check it out, I guess. Uh, and then speaking of Little Nightmares, Little Nightmares 3 gets a new trailer, but no release date. Uh, Masters of Albion is Fable creators Peter... No fucking way. Peter Molyneux is still making games? I just asked myself this question not that long ago. What the hell is Peter Molyneux doing these days? Do you guys remember Peter Molyneux? He was the creator of, well, lots of things, like black and white, but he, he created Fable. He was the man behind Fable. He was the man behind that infamous uh, Xbox Project Natal game Oh God, what the hell was that thing called? Milo. Milo was the name of that thing that he that he put out. Um, it was this like whole like interactive experience where you use the Xbox camera or what they were calling it, Project Natal at the time, but it was called Milo. And he talked to this character on screen. It was like AI before we really had like AI. It ended up going absolutely nowhere. And then I haven't heard anything about Peter Molyneux since then. But this is interesting. He has a new game coming out. Peter Molyneux, known for his works on Fable and Black and White, announced his next game, Master of Albion. For those familiar with the Fable series, know that Albion is the setting where the franchise takes place. He's saying that it's not set directly in the same world as the Fable series. So, I mean, it sounds like he's doing a spiritual successor to Fable. I'll reserve judgment. I like Peter Molyneux. He's just, sometimes he's kind of full of hot air. Squid Games, Unleashed announced by Netflix Games. I, again, there's another one that I haven't watched. I, I have not watched Squid Games, so I have no comment on this one. A full release for Arena Breakout Infinite is coming later this year. So if you're into uh, Arena Breakout Infinite, the full release is coming later this year. Unknown Nine Awakening launches in October. That's a Bandai Namco joint. It's coming to you know, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Blizzard Entertainment reveals World of Warcraft, The War Within will have early access beta for two days. Teases a direct focusing on Warcraft. You know, I've, I've thought here and there about dipping my toe back into Warcraft, but I know, I know I shouldn't. So yeah, Warcraft news, that's interesting. Uh, we learned that a Warcraft Direct will be coming soon. Uh, Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred reveals new trailer ahead of October release. I'm not going to lie. I've been hearing a lot about uh, this Vessel of Hatred Diablo expansion, and I really want to get back into Diablo 4. I like Diablo 4. A lot of people didn't like it, but I liked it. Good game. Uh, if you want to play Diablo 4 together, hit me up. The first Berserker, Kazan, will hold a technical closed beta. Never heard of any of that. So, um, mm, There's some interesting news that I've been seeing a lot about. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, the new game exclusively coming to Xbox, is 
uh, is coming to the PlayStation 5, apparently. Okay, well, there's that for you then. Uh, so for all you that were like, damn you, Microsoft, for buying all these different you know game developers we're never going to get our games on anything other than microsoft uh no this was a microsoft xbox exclusive pc and xbox exclusive and now it's coming to the ps5 i think that's awesome news um it's coming december 9th but it looks like the ps5 version is not releasing till spring of next year which is totally fine microsoft paid the money for those studios so they should have first rights that's fair. Mafia, the old country, officially revealed. What is this? As a one more thing style announcement, we learned that a new Mafia game is currently in development, titled Mafia Old Country. This is the next project from the studio Hangar 13. I'm a fan of Hangar 13. Uh, no release date was revealed. We did learn that Mafia the Old Country will get further details this December. Of course this December, because what is in December? Jeff Knightley's the Game Awards. I don't have anything against it. It's just, you know, it's a lot of Jeff Knightley. Anyway, so that, I mean, that's pretty much all the news that came out of Gamescom. There is a lot of stuff. I was expecting a little more from, I don't know, on the hardware side of things. They're really holding the, the, the new handheld consoles tightly to the chest because, let's not lie, Xbox and PlayStation both have handhelds in development. This is no secret. If you, if you want to know more about that, you can check out my previous video, which is here, where I talked about, um, you know, the, uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation handhelds that are currently in development, and I gave you my thoughts. So, what on this list excites you? Uh, anything? Everything? Maybe you want to school me on some of these things that I don't know about? Uh, hit the comments and let me know. But, uh... I got a live stream to set up too, and we're actually running a little bit behind. So, with that said, Alexa, turn on the arcade. We'll see you next time.